Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where once again it has been a while since I have recorded um, and I'm back at my sister's place so you get to hear the freeway <laughs> right outside the window which is super nice. Um, I just went through what's left of our DLCs or uh, missions rather and the DLCs and made an actual list so I don't just have to like tell, tell it to myself out loud Okay, so I just ranted for like three minutes on the order I want to do things in, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. If you guys have a, uh, I have a list actually written down finally. I just went through all the rest of these missions, wrote down what I have access to currently, what I need. Um, right now we can do Benning evidence. We can land on Benning, do these Cerberus abductions, get the evidence. Eden Prime is uh, broken. I uh, did not get the evidence apparently all while I was there so this is just gonna hang around and be really freaking annoying I think there's actually a mod because I did I technically failed it I can't um, I can't go back to Eden Prime and I can't get that intel so we're not gonna get the Eden Prime stuff which is annoying because I know I did it before um, but I think I just got really turned around this last time um, make sure everything's not overheating over here on my computer land um, Anyway, I have the order of the DLCs also. Uh, I think we've already talked about it, but if somebody does have an order that they have recommended, please let me know. Right now, I have Leviathan. We're going to do two of the missions for Leviathan before Thessia. One, the last one after Thessia. The Citadel DLC, sto like the story for the Citadel DLC after Rannick. Omega after the event on the Citadel that's going to happen here soon-ish. Um, anyway, Book of Plenix we can't do till later. Heating unit stabilizers we get on Novaria, apparently. Um, we're going to do Tuchanka Turian Platoon. We can maybe do the Apian Crest, and we can do the Cerberus Abductions. So, let me just get there to where I need to go. Um, I'm going to go look and see if I can access the Apian Crest. I'm not sure I can. I know that that's the Palavan system. It's the Turian system. Um, but... I don't know if I can go back to it right now at this time. There's certain systems that aren't open to me. Normandy, yes, I want to go to the Normandy. Um, but, okay, I don't know if I did the intro or not, but I hope I did. <laughs> I hope I did the intro properly. Where I'm like, welcome back, it's been a while since I've recorded it. In case I didn't do that, there it is. It's been a while. Let's grab this conversation. It hasn't repeated. Chances are, I'll never even need to put on armor. I know, and I'm sorry. That's what you get for marrying a civilian. Are you and the girls going to be okay? Combat pay isn't as much as I make at the dig site. We'll be fine. The last thing I want you to worry about is paying the bills. Just don't go too crazy with new dance classes, okay? I was in a drop, though. I can't get the girls there on time, and I was probably going to go pick up an extra shift at work. Oh. Well, we'll make it up to the girls when I get back. Dance classes, biology, whoa, gymnastics, whoa. whatever whoa. you want. Gall. Biotic, I remember biotic gymnastics. I was like, yo, that's sick. I mean, it's true. The Asari would grow up, like, immersed in a biotic environment, right? Like, every single Asari is biotic. Um, and so that would be just something... Like how magic is just part of way of life at Tevinter, in Tevinter, you know? It would be just a completely different, I don't know, it's like, not perspective necessarily, but like, society? I, I'm not, I don't know what the word I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry, I'm actually just a moron right now who can't think of any words. I just finally got back on my, um... No, no, no. My... I can't remember what the... Turian system is actually called. And I'm afraid to tab out on this. Hang on. I think it is actually just called, like, not... So it's the, the systems are within the cluster, right? These are... These are, like, the clusters. I can't remember how it always is. I think this is a cluster, and then you go in it. There are systems within it, like the solar system is within 
I don't even remember what they called it. What do they call it? The soul cluster? Maybe? Anyway, I don't think we have it, so I don't have access to it. Oh, freak, it's right there! Oh my gosh! I think if I go, I'm gonna get chased. The one place I didn't look. It's kind of in a glowy area. Um, did we re Palavin before? We have in the past. Yes. Yeah, we have read this, I know. Um, I don't think there's anything to scan for in here. So let's go. It's in one of these. I think it's in the gem gemme? Gemma? I just want to scan, find this Turian crest. Wait, I was in here before, didn't I? Wasn't I? Holy moly. What is it? Where is this planet? Is it like hiding? Oh, it's over there. I found something. Ah! Fuel, great. Love that for me. <laughs> I think it might get me. <laughs> oh. Hello? Okay. Uh, Vaster have solar collectors, blab dozens of power collectors, array. The Reapers had a substantial force to gain my system, found that Turians were capable and prepared to defend their Armada's fuel source. Warning messages say the Reapers are still present in the system, waiting reinforcements. At present, the Turians can only can still refuel, but only because they committed forces here that could otherwise be defending battle. Evasion successful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was not the crest. I did see that on the wiki. You can get a flotilla. Um, help, and that'll go on our war asset thing. Signal confirmed. Oh, it's fuel. Great. Love that for me. Look at all this free fuel. Quick. Turing Colony was famous until recently for being the site of the bloodiest battle in Turing history during the Krogan Rebellions. A warlord named Grakendal took the fight to Paladin's home cluster, bombarding the modestly defended Digerius. When reinforcements came to intercept him, Dahl's navy put their rear to Digerius so that stray shots would hit the planet. The Turians won despite this severe handicap, using countless fighters and cruisers to take down the Krogan dreadnoughts. Today, the Turian fleet holds Digerius in a stalemate. The Reapers, concentrating on Paladin and elsewhere, sent a relatively light force to take the planet, which the Turians repelled. The Turians stand at guard at Digerius while the Reapers travel throughout the system, destroying, the targets, of destroying targets of opportunity until reinforcements are at. Give me the crest. Gave it to me. It would make sense to have a, a crest banner here, like the, the spirit of like a battle of like a, a squad. That is something the Turians are, yeah, very into is like, a, that's like, I think it's basically their religious structure almost, I guess you could say, where like they think everything, I'm pretty sure I'm right. They think everything has some sort of like spirit and essence essentially. Like, uh, kind of how Dragon Age does um, with, like, Spirits of Valor and stuff like that. And that's how they see, like, uh, like a squad will embody a spirit of some sort. Um, and have, like, its memory essentially kept alive by future squads carrying the name. Uh, the same name. Anyway, we are going to... We're going to go to Benning, actually. And then we will do the last priority to Chonko mission, or not the priority one, but the extract train survivors. Where was? Uh, where was it? The Cerberus abductions. Let's go. This is definitely one you land on, and this is where we'll get evidence uh, about that guy whose father keeps making calls in the Citadel. We will find out what happened to him, even though we could basically tell because of his stupid crew. They're just like, mm, they won't tell me what's going on. Yeah, okay. All I have to do is sit and listen to him. Many moons and debris are in its immediate vicinity, leading researchers to believe that at some point Fermi was impacted by something large, launching fragments of the planet into orbit. Again, these are one of those little like clues that is dropped throughout the systems, throughout the galaxy, that like 
something went down in the past and it was, you know, you've seen in Mass Effect 1 and 2, if you read the planet in codex entries, essentially, um, that some of them have evidence of what looks like vast intergalactic warfare and like total devastation, you know? But nobody puts all the picture together. All infrastructure on Silva has been destroyed. This was named for the Prospector, this planet was named for the Prospector team that unearthed the Prothean Archives on Mars, which we got to go visit in a hectic slapdash mad run. Bending the nearest garden world to Arcturus Station is the primary source of its food supply and important staging area for Star Trek's maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be key in any attempt to retake the system's relay, but right now we got Cerberus in there. It sucks that we gotta fight against Cerberus and the Reapers. Again, it's like what uh, Javik said. It's the internal disputes that made the Reapers more successful. You know, between like the internal arguments of like whatever species they're attacking, the internal factions. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, we present a small force defending to destroy its combois, spaceports, and starships with the population mobilized and communications cut. The main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing they could return before repairs could be made or help could arrive. Heat, Ceres's, and Benning's space indicate a non Reaper presence here. Yeah. You dicks. It's so frustrating, like, and I'm old enough now and I've seen enough that it's just like, I'm like, that would, I remember being like, that would never happen in some, in some of these things. Like, some of it, you're like, oh yeah, definitely. But like, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting jaded, but it's like, that, that would definitely happen. Um. Where it's like, no, we'd all band together. This is why I like, um, I like Pacific Rim. Because it's like, that would never happen. No, the world would not, like, band together. Oh, man, I really need to upgrade the Avenger or give him a different gun. So far, we're fine, I think, on the Avenger. Go. What? Where did I get all these points from? Like, for real. Holy cow. Um. Max out my fitness? I think I was thinking about doing this one. You just run in and punch people. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's see how that goes. I don't know if it's going to go very well, but... And we're good. Um, anyway, I think I was saying something and I can't remember. ...to one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigation suggests that people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Oh, yeah. We sent a recon team to... New armor! Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And oh. innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Look at me! Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. <sighs> I do out. like that. I do like the armor. I love the Dragon Age call out there. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS. David Gator was on Twitter. Uh David Gator was on Twitter the other day, I guess, saying that he really would enjoy on my way. a total remaster, a like PS5 kind of remaster of Origins, which we've all been asking for for eons. I never understood the people who were like, we need a Mass Effect one. We need a Mass Effect remaster. No, no, no. When to me, it felt like we really, what we needed was a, uh, a Dragon Age Origins remaster. I'll still, I'll die on that hill. I did see an article, apparently, too. Apparently, um, oh, ow. Oh, wait. 
What is melee? Okay. That apparently EA. Oh my gosh. EA is never understood. Um. No, I switched. Square switch. EA is never understood why. Dragon Age has actually done better than, um. What do you call it? Mass Effect. Trying to punch a shield guy. It's not gonna work. Um. Yeah, never understood why it's done better than Mass Effect. And it's like, I mean, I could tell you because there's more hotties to choose than what I said in my Discord the other day. Um. Are you still alive? No. Uh, but also, somebody made the good point that uh, my friend Lindsay said because they like hacky sla people like hacky slashy more than. Where are they? I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. They won't know what hit them. Um. People like hacky slashy more than they like. Um, Shooty bang bang. <laughs> and like, I mean, yeah, it's like shooters are incredibly popular, but the people that Bioware are going after with, um, like story based stuff are not necessarily like, ooh, yes, I love shooters, you know? Um, some people, I enjoy, I enjoy shooters. I have thousands of hours in Overwatch, you know? Um, very much actually just got, finally by myself, got myself up to plat four on support. I was very excited. Oh, is there somebody in here? Anyway, I'm, I'm like, I'm back on my, did I mention that I'm back on my ADD meds? It's a, oh, you're a person. Oh my goodness gracious, that scared me. We're going to die here. This shotgun's ridiculous. No, you're not. I'm here. Commander Shepard's here. Anyway, I'm back on my ADD meds. Not that you can tell. ADHD, I guess. It's not ADD anymore. Um, I can't keep track. Um, but... Anyway, I thought it was—I thought it was interesting. I need to find that the Benning evidence too. If I don't, I'll be very upset. I guess we don't have to leave until I get the evidence, so that's nice. Um. But yeah, and also, I guess somebody else brought up, my friend, somebody brought up the point that uh, fantasy, in many ways, at least, and this is very unofficially, but it does seem to be more popular than sci-fi. And I was like, well, I think I prefer sci-fi to fantasy, like, personally, for me, I think I prefer sci-fi to fantasy, but I'm pickier on my sci-fi. Um, I don't like reading about middle-aged guys having midlife crises and, like, waxing on about technological advancement yada yada stuff like I don't really care I want to read about cool swashbuckling space adventures like I guess if you want to use a cliche example Firefly I really enjoyed Firefly you know just to, it's like I like the space operas which I know some people I'm thinking of walking in circles this is fine um <laughs> the what me what are you guys can you can you go what's going on here um but I like space opera type stuff um, because it focuses on the people and like the environments and stuff. And I really like the ones that involve like aliens and. Do I have to like poke these civilians? I didn't see anything about it. I like I like I like exploratory stuff about new systems, new cultures, new civilizations. I am going in circles. What do you want me to do with these civilians? Maybe I will edit all of that out where I just yammer on about that. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm lazy. What do you mean? I, I went over to you guys and there was... Oh. Try to stay calm. Oh. What should we do? No. Just stay down. I think we gather them like ducklings here. I think we can... We gather them like little ducklings. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. Maybe I will edit that whole conversation out, but <laughs> if not, you get to you get to deal with it. Look at that. Hang on, I gotta punch you. The thing about charging in and trying to kill people is like they die so fast. But I'm not just gonna run up to them. 
It's just asking to be... Oh, that's right. I gotta hold it for the, uh, for the heavy punch. What? 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 Anyway. Oh, hello. Nope. How do, how do I freaking cancel? I don't get to cancel, I guess. I would use my teammates abilities. Am I? I'm gonna put it back on hardcore. I know it's not gonna change anything anymore, but... Like, I, I thought I had it on hardcore. That was the goal, was to have it on hard. Unless I changed my mind and I can't remember changing my mind. Yeah, I did. I am a pickle individual who can't keep track of anything. Who is what? I am gonna die. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna go out there freaking hard and then I'm just gonna die immediately. Alright, Garrus, let's go. Anyway, because I'm just like running around, like, I'm just punching people in the face with my face. I'm not even using my companion's abilities. Oh, I, come on. That 100% was supposed to be a charge. If we die, we die together. Nobody's dying on my watch. Is it not gonna work? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy shotguns. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy punching people in the face with my face. Dang, my squad is having a rough time. I'm, I'm having a blast, honestly. Uh, oopsie. What was Javik doing way over there? Not, I, I was like, why can't I fire? Javik, what are you doing over here? Please help us. Uh, I get, where are these people? I'm like, I'm like hearing voices. It's my Whoa, my freaking gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're just like airdropping more troops in. It's like playing Dragon Age 2. Where they just airdrop enemies in. They literally just drop in from the roofs. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, was that like his like dying breath? He threw that out? Hang on, I saw. I saw. There you are. I hear you. I need that civilian to stop talking. Oh, I think he's talking to her, though. Oh my gosh, Gary, she scared the crap out of me. You're still alive? Oh my gosh. Come on, let me, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> Oop, wrong button. There we go. Just like tapped him in the back. No, don't you do it. Absolutely not. Ooh. Oh no. Ow, I need healing. Whoop. 
I feel like Garrus is always um not available for me to use his powers. That's because I click on them, so that's on me. Like I want to use concussive shock. If we live together or die together, I'm gonna this is for me. You're clear, go! Oh my gosh, this thing is ridiculous. Hold the transport. We're gonna make it. Hold the tra no, it's gonna go. It's gonna go without you. Only two? Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. Where's my bending evidence? Yeah, uh huh. No, busy. Gotta find the evidence. I have walked over this whole place like six times. I feel like I had to look it up last time too. I was like, where in the tarnation is this thing? Run, anyone just run. Cerberus isn't what you think they are. It's true. They are probably like, oh, here, we're here to help people. We're here to help humans. We're here to help you guys out. And then people were like, oh, that sounds nice. And then they were like, hmm, actually, I don't like being augmented against my will. Alright, time to look this up. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. Life's too short. In the- oh, see, I was actually intentionally looking for, um, stuff in the rooms. Apparently it's in the big open area. Which is where I was not. I don't know which big open area, but it is in a big open area. There are dog tags. Ooh, by buildings 27, 25, and 22. They are very easy to miss, yes. Where is it? 25. 27. By the column? 25, 27, 22 by the column. Oh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, okay. Even on the new high-res graphics. I, uh, was not gonna see that ever. And I'm not used to looking for things on the ground. Usually, usually it's in, like, these rooms, on consoles, on data pads or something. There we go. Is this is my shuttle begin? Wonder how many civilians you can save if I really could have saved more? I don't know. We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still did not. I just realized I may have done normal on purpose. Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying the foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. I think they're willing to do just about anything at this point, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, I may have changed it to normal on purpose because otherwise I can't really use shockwave. And if I can't use shockwave against freaking husks, then I'll cry. We'll have to see. <laughs> I may have done that on purpose. <laughs> Alien. It's I, This always annoys me. I was hoping they would, like, freaking change it in this one, but they just put alien all in one. Yay, the Shadow Broker Wet Squad. Uh huh. Thank you, thank you. Hand orange drill forces. Yeah, updated. A meta gel. That's right. A meta gel formula, especially where the hand has been distributed. That's right. That's right. Cerberus. And it's so funny because we got like so much human resources. I think you still by the end of the game. I don't think alien much catches up, despite them being like, I don't know, seventy percent of the galaxy. You know, with like all the different alien like races, like. <laughs> Somehow, all of them combined are not contributing as much as humanity is. Um, Arcturus First Division, la la la, to avoid detection, they operate in cells. They're basically like Cerberus, which used to be a Black Ops division for the Alliance. Uh, or I mean, not Black Ops, but they were like a, they were, I think they were like a lab, like a, like a Black Ops lab or something. Update. 
pair of entrepreneurs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Krogan Power Grids are supplying energy to purgatory, allowing the club to operate as usual, improving the morale of soldiers on short leave. You think it's something, like, silly, right? But, like, morale is huge. Like, there's so much studies, so many, so much studies, so many studies done on, like, people needing to relax. You know, like, it, even in the middle of an extremely stressful war zone, like, people will start optimi- op- start operating very suboptimally if they don't have Brother, like a release a you know operation back on Sir Kesh, extracting the Thank female you. Krogan. I had help. Warden Solis knew what he was doing. Yes, Garrus mentioned the doctor was on your mission through the Omega 4 relay. I'm surprised the Solarian cares about the Krogan. War is full of surprises. <laughs> Rarely the good kind. I'm just happy this one played to our advantage. True true. Our things on Think Paladin. We're good. The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. The Krogan will make sure that doesn't happen. Assuming you're successful with the cure. She does this me. ominous walk. You have walk. to be, Commander. I don't want to go down as history's last Primarch. That's all. Of course, It's Commander. always rough being the last one in the history books. You get scrutinized extensively. Or vilified. But, anyway... I think really quick we will go back. Oh my gosh, stop trying to make me read the codex. Yeah, we're gonna return sort by oldest or no, whatever. We're gonna turn in that and then we're gonna turn in the bending evidence. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Can't do that, can't do that. And we will do the Turium Platoon next. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and call it here. Hopefully it's not too long. But yeah, we're getting stuff done. I want to make sure we get all these little side missions done. You got to get everything, all your little missions done before each priority mission. Otherwise, they go bye-bye. Some of them do. Not all of them, some of them. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope my somewhat haphazard episode today, you can uh, just be along for the ride. <laughs> but thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it, especially on an old game like this. Despite it being new and pretty and just gorgeous and every time I see it I'm just stunned like I'll, I'm crying for the Dragon Age Origins remaster don't get me wrong but I I really appreciate what they did with this game so anyway thank you all so much for watching appreciate it really quick I want to say thank you to my patrons to my long suffering and wonderful patrons thank you so so much for your support I really appreciate it I want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons uh, Reese Galito thank you so much for your support and Adam thank you so much for your support you're both awesome I appreciate it a lot and I want to give an extra extra special shout out to Christopher my tree tier patron who's the super bestest and I really appreciate all that you do it's just it's just super appreciated I just want you to know so thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one